Oh, hi YouTube. It's Michael one more time. Another video about the mini law logical analyzer. Um, this time it is about uh, a probe that I built with a protection circuit. So it keeps the level uh, of the voltage input signals on a safe level. Because um, the exciting CPLD here can only use as much as 5 volts for an input level and it, if it is more you will damage it. So this is the probe and uh, I set up my scope here so I measure the in the input signal that actually comes into the probe uh, which is generated by this signal generator here and on the scope screen is uh, the blue signal and this is uh, beyond the probe what the uh, logical analyzer actually sees this is the yellow signal. So let's compare. You see um, the yellow signal has about 4.4 .4 volts of the peak voltage. This is quite okay. And the, the signal that comes in has, well, it has, you can see it right away, but this is more than, more than 5 actually. You can see this. Uh, the scale is the same, right? Both channels, one, one uh, diff is always 2 volts. So let's shift it so it is a little bit more clearly what's happening here. You see. So, and what you can also see is uh, that the signal has well, it has spikes on the edges, uh, which are quite heavy. You see those spikes? Comes from from signals which are not. You know those spikes? Those uh, comes from signals which are not very very good. Um, this is all always if you use. Uh, such cabling as I do here, this chaotic cabling, this will always cause the signal to, well, behave this way. Um, well, what we do now, I use the amplitude and rig it up even more. See what happens to the yellow uh, signal. Um, we're turning up the voltage of the input signal and the yellow signal is still fine. You see? It doesn't vary. It doesn't grow beyond uh, unsafe levels. It does grow actually. You see? From for a little bit. But it's, this is always uh, within safe. If I would do that and it use the blue signal now to directly put into the logical analyzer, it would probably die almost immediately. Well, that is, that is what the probe is all about. Right. So, <laughs> and have some more here. So, it's a lot of work to actually solder together. Well, let's go for another measurement here. Yeah, that's it. That's that's a very symmetrical signal I measured here, and it it actually is the signal that we fetched here. frequency measurement on the first channel is uh, 48.05 kilohertz and this is also what we used here yeah so using those probes makes it a lot safer to handle the mini lab because um, well in a real world circuit you can never be too sure. You make a little mistake and then the whole circuit blows to hell, right? So, that's not a good thing. Well, don't mind the chaos. This is always what it looks like if I try to set up a little measurement or something. that It, it's, it always looks, looks like crazy. <laughs> so, thanks for watching again. And uh, if you have any questions about it, just ask.